In Africa, the number of deaths in childbirth of mothers and babies is very high. In northwest Kenya, 12 hours from Nairobi, in a remote area far from any hospital, DFID, together with the Kenyan government, is helping women get access to small maternity clinics where they can give birth. Traditionally, women have had to give birth at home, but with civic education, subsidized medical care, and the help of a motorcycle ambulance, more and more women are able to choose to get professional help. This clinic in Mugunga village serves a community of 40,000 people. They come from up to 10 miles away. It has seen births rise from six to 20 a month and a drop in child and maternal mortality. Kinta Akini is 19 years old. She is pregnant with her second baby. Her first baby was born at home. But when the placenta got stuck in her womb, she bled heavily and very nearly died. So this morning, she has walked for three hours to give birth at the clinic. So when you are next, It's a baby girl. Like so many other newborn babies in the area, she will be named after the nurse, Doreen. No, I like my job so much. I think one thing a nurse should have is like you love mothers, love how they are, love your kids, then love your job. Then I like my job so much. You feel so great, I tell you. I, I don't know how people feel, but me, I'm comfortable when I have a baby who is bouncing, crying, at least you feel good. <laughs> The challenges we have here is one, we, have, we don't have water. I think since we came, we've been having problem with water. Sometimes we have shortage of uh, staff. Sometimes you get yourself you have wine on due to two or three, I tell you, it's hell. But first priority is the mothers who are in labor. Mothers who are pregnant, they have first priority. Others, you are comfortable. Me, I'm comfortable with my job. I don't have to say I'm, I have problems, no. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It may not be in Doreen's nature to complain, but the clinic is ill-equipped and overcrowded. Fortunately, DFID is building and equipping a new clinic right next door. It will have more beds, a proper delivery room, and a waiting ward for expectant mothers. No longer will Doreen have to send women home because there's no room. With running water and electricity, no longer will she have to perform nighttime surgeries by flashlight. How excited are you about this building? I'm very, we are very happy. In fact, the community is so happy. The mothers are just promising that immediately the shelter starts, then we're okay, we'll be here. They'll be delivering immediately. Here, they have no problem. They'll not be waiting down to the community. They'll be just coming, waiting here. We deliver our baby, then we go home. Then we have, we're very happy. And how will it make your life better? Oh yeah, then there'll be no, no more problem, no more complications, no more man, maternal death or fetal death, fetal distresses. You see, we'll be happy, at least things will be okay. Then I'm happy because I'll be having uh, life babies and life mothers. That is what we want. Yes. <laughs>